Now joining us for sport is Celeste Lugia. MSU Denver women's soccer hosted Colorado Mesa at the Regency Athletic Complex last Sunday. They were looking to bounce back after a few tough losses and get a win under their belt. Unfortunately, the Roadrunners were not able to do so. Mesa had 12 total goal attempts and MSU Denver had four. Brooklyn, we go hard, we go hard. Oh, yep, MSU Denver had no answer for Mesa's Brooklyn Menke, who had three goals on the day. On a somewhat better note, MSU Denver had eight saves this game. Now, come on, we shouldn't be too hard on this team. I like to call this just a little bump in the road. Speaking of the road, women's soccer will take on Adams State at Alamosa tonight and Fort Lewis in Durango on Sunday. Good luck, girls. In terms of soccer teams here at MSU Denver, the tables have turned as men's soccer beat South Dakota Mines 4-0 on Sunday. Jeff Gillis, Ethan Ramsey, and Jack Mayfield all contributed to the win by scoring one goal each. Mines had three saves, but that was nothing our Roadrunners couldn't handle. With this five-game winning streak, I don't see these boys going into a slump anytime soon. We better knock on wood. Come out and support your men's soccer team as they host Westminster tonight at 7 and join us to recognize our seniors this Sunday at 1 p.m. at the Regency Athletic Complex as they take on Mesa. We'll see you guys there. And last Saturday, on the Dick Pink Night, which is a night to promote breast cancer awareness, the women's volleyball team looked to extend their eight-game winning streak against Western New Mexico. MSU Denver came to the Aurora Event Center ready to compete with the Mustangs. The Mustangs came to Denver with the nine-game winning streak. To start off the game, Ryan Herderman gave her team a quick little point, the calm before the storm. But things remain hot with this hit that Summer Gregor pounds to the opposite side. And there's that storm I was telling you about. Open the doors and come out. The storm is over and MSU Denver invites you to their block party here on the court. Who else is invited? Well, you are Mustangs. As the defense continues to prove themselves, Gregor tips it over and MSU Denver wins the rally. Fiatoa keeps the party going with two blocks right after the other. Reminding me of Michael Jordan, 96-97, back to back. Michaela Smith and Ryan Herdeman give us two hard kills. Talk about the arrival of double trouble. MSU Denver continues their winning streak, making that nine games they've won in a row. We cut up with Ryan Herdeman, who had 12 kills on the night. Um, it wasn't so much surprising. We uh, definitely respect them a lot as an opponent. They're always a good team, always super scrappy, play great defense. But it definitely feels really good to beat them in three. It's uh, a testament to how hard we've been working as a team in practice. So we're pretty pleased.